The world is a very stressful place for everybody. But thankfully, the internet is full of mesmerizing and enjoyable videos to calm the nerves. You know the ones. We've all spent way too much time watching a video of someone making cookies, even if we don't get to eat them. From the latest TikTok trend that looks absolutely delicious to a mesmerizing event that's been around for centuries in China, here are 20 satisfying things that'll definitely catch your eye. Number 20. Condom Production Process Condoms are amazing. They provide protection without being too intrusive, and they come in so many different colors and shapes and sizes. Some of them are even flavored. But have you ever stopped to think about how they make them? I mean, a lot depends on these small, elastic little balloons. Well, it turns out that the process is quite mesmerizing. They are all made by machines, of course. First, they dip a condom-shaped tube into a pool of latex until a little membrane is formed on each one. They then let each one dry by turning them in an axis. They then pass each tube through a machine that has a turning cylinder made out of a very soft material, like a gentle sponge, so that the open end of the condoms have that famous little elastic band at the end, which is basically just the condom rolled on itself. A precise jet of water then brushes away the condom from the tube into a receptacle. Now it's time to test them. First, they put them in a machine to test their elasticity, and also in another one to test their expandability. Yeah, that means blowing air into the condom, like a balloon. And then the most important test, the one that checks for leakage, where they basically just fill the condoms with water and see if there are any drops coming out. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Satisfying Video Kinetic and Rainbow Kinetic sand is extremely satisfying to watch. Videos of it being cut into slices can gather thousands of views on the internet. The videos depict the kinetic sand being manipulated in several different ways. Sometimes they chop it into slices with a big and sharp knife, or they decide to scrap it until it crumbles. They stab it as well, or simply press it. The most satisfying part about these bizarre videos is not only the bright and cheerful colors, but actually the crackling sound that the sand makes. Kinetic sand is made out of regular sand that's been coated with silicone oil, which makes it kind of stick together as if it was slightly glued together. And that's why it makes such a characteristic sound when you make a shape out of it and you cut it with something hard like metal or plastic. It was originally created for sculpting, but has since become a very popular children's toy. But recently, kinetic sand has caught the attention of adults as well, as these videos provoke such an incredibly relaxing sensation in the viewer. Scientists believe that the videos appeal to people due to their Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response Properties, or ASMR for short. ASMR is the relaxed sensation people feel when they hear certain sounds or see certain things. Number 18. Glue Hands ASMR is becoming more and more popular basically because we're just starting to study and understand it now. Before, people that received immense pleasure from certain sounds or actions were considered strange. Now we know a little bit more about what happens in the brain when someone experiences ASMR. It always starts like a tingling sensation in the head and neck, and then it runs down your back and limbs. And the best part is, it can last for several minutes. Everybody has their autonomous sensory meridian response triggered by something different. For some people, it might be a whisper. For some others, a crinkling sound. And for some, a video of a hand dipped in glue. Yeah, people are now scouring the internet for videos of hands dipped in glue. The idea is to create a translucent layer of glue on the hand and let it dry. Then, with the help of a powerful microphone, they peel the glue very slowly, very carefully. It gives the illusion of the skin being peeled away, and with a very specific noise as well. It almost looks like a big spider shedding its skin. Some people opt to use a pair of tweezers to peel the glue, while some others use their bare fingers. For me, the most satisfying part of these videos is when all the glue is finally off. 
Number 17. Gabriel Daw's Dazzling Threads Gabriel Daw is an artist that works mainly with textile materials and sewing thread. He grew up in Mexico City, where the macho culture kept him from feeling free to play with textiles or to be outspoken about his sexuality. He even remembers his grandmother teaching his sister how to sew, but not teaching him on account of him being a boy. But when he became an adult and moved to the United States, he then gave himself the chance to rediscover his childhood passion. Today, he makes beautiful art installations completely made out of sewing sewing thread of hundreds of different colors. The way he's able to actually make such gigantic thread structures is by literally making them by hand with the help of a homemade giant sewing needle. He made it out of an extension pole with a tool he developed himself. The work is always site specific and he has to literally stretch the thread one strand at a time. One structure can have thousands of connections between the hooks on the floor and the hooks on the ceiling. The rainbow installation alone is 65 miles of thread. The point of these mesmerizing art pieces is to create an ethereal ambiance, a space outside of time where you can inspect from very close a frozen ray of light. Number 16. Mr. Wash, Germany Welcome to the world's largest car wash facility. It is located in Stuttgart, Germany, and it is a two-story monstrosity that can handle over half a million vehicles annually. Mr. Wash can clean up to 3,000 vehicles per hour. Each step of the process only takes 30 seconds in a very calculated and highly organized dance of cars. Here, you can get your car washed, dried, waxed, and they even have a bump removal service. This place not only has it all, but it's humongous. The premises is 15,000 square meters. It is located right next to a very busy highway, and it is always jam-packed. Over 4,000 cars go through Mr. Wash every single day. They have over 100 employees as well. It's almost like a tiny little city on its own. But this money-making machine isn't just that, it also tried to be as ecologically friendly as possible. They actually have invested a lot of capital to get a water recycling system that cleans the water after it's been used to be able to use it again to rinse the vehicle's rims and underbodies. This car wash uses up to 350 liters of water per day, so to not recycle the water would be kind of counterproductive. Mr. Wash's chief executive has said playfully that there's more concrete and steel here than at 10 car washes in the US, and he might be right. Number 15. Egg Jarping World Championship as bizarre as this might sound, the Egg Jarping World Championship is basically a competition to see whose boiled egg is the hardest. Yeah, you heard that right. The contestants start tapping their eggs together until one cracks. This competition is practiced all over the world, but its hometown is Peterlee in County Durham, England. The most interesting thing about this practice is that you can't bring your own egg from your house. No, come on now. Eggs are provided for the competition, and each competitor selects an egg from a tray. So the trick is how to know how to choose the egg wisely, or maybe it's just all about luck. Difficult to say. Oh, and can you guess what the prize is for the lucky winner? Why, an egg-shaped trophy, of course. Oh, and the honor that comes from being the champion of the world as well. Since 2012, the Egg Jarping World Championship has been held on Easter Sunday, just to remain faithful to the egg theme. All the contestants pay two pounds to enter the competition, and the money raised goes to a good cause. It is donated to Alice House Hospice. There have never been any cheating incidents, although one year one of the lads that was winning had a drink and ate his egg, so he sadly had to be disqualified. Number 14. Hip Hop Pottery Meet Roberto Lugo, the provocative, creative, and talented hip-hop pottery maker. Across history, a pot of tea on the table meant having a civilized conversation. It evokes discourse and proper values. But Roberto Lugo has chosen a slightly different path for his pieces of art. He describes his figurative teapots as symbols of sitting down with topics that people will discuss. Lugo's art mixes political messages with graffiti and with the simple act of sitting down with a friend to share a pot of tea. But the innocent pot of tea hides an even more interesting fact. 
When Lugo started taking pottery classes, he quickly noticed that almost everyone would attempt to make their own teapot. Lugo, having grown up in the ghetto, as he says, had never drunk tea, and even less from a teapot. So for him, the teapot also represents this culture from his own country that had been kept invisible to him for so many years. His teapots are meant to build a bridge between all the different worlds existing in the United States and on the rest of the planet. Some of his creations have cultural figures such as Biggie or Tupac, and some others have a more political message with Martin Luther King Jr.'s face on them. Number 13. Bubble Wrap Madness Ah uh, yes, the joy that is to unwrap something and then go nuts popping the bubble wrap. Who in the world hasn't done this? I bet you can't find that person. But have you ever wondered what makes popping bubble wrap so damn satisfying? Studies have shown that the act of popping the wrap is actually very close to fidgeting. You know, when you can't stop moving your pen through your fingers or using a fidget toy. This is satisfying because keeping your hands busy with a small object is relaxing and eases tensed nerves, especially if you're working or studying in a stressful environment. And let's be honest, popping bubble wrap feels like your brain's having an orgasm. Which brings us back to ASMR, which as you recall is basically that amazing tingling sensation in the head, scalp, back, or peripheral regions of the body in response to stimuli, which is just a fancy way of saying it feels awesome. But if you're a bubble wrap addict, I have bad news for you. Sealed Air Corporation, the original seller of bubble wrap since 1960, has recently revamped their product because of competitors making a cheaper alternative. The good side of this is that the new product doesn't take much space as you fill it with air yourself. The downside? It can't be popped. Sounds like a challenge to me. Number 12. Pastéis de Belim, The Secret Recipe who doesn't like a good pastéis de Belim? They're flaky on the outside and wonderfully creamy and sweet on the inside. Also called pastéis de nata, they're a Portuguese egg custard tart pastry dusted with cinnamon and absolutely delicious. They're quite popular in Western Europe, Asia, and in former Portuguese colonies such as Brazil and Macau. But why is this simple dessert so addictive and mouthwatering? Well, let's look at the history of this amazing pastry first. They were invented back in the 17th century when some Catholic monks in Belém started using yolks left over from the starching of clothes. But during the Portuguese Liberal Revolution in 1832, religious orders were expelled and the monastery had to shut down. But not before the clerics sold the recipe to a nearby confectionery that kept up the production of the pastéis, and that quickly became the most famous bakery in the whole city of Lisbon, and also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, only six master bakers know the ancient secret original recipe from the monks. They are still working at the Fabrica de Pastéis de Belém, and their gestures are so precise it is truly mesmerizing to see them make the pastries. Number 11. A 101-year-old tattoo artist. High up in the mountains of Kalinga in the Philippines, there's a remote village called Buscalan. And this very special place is home to the very last Mamba Batak, which means tattoo artist, of the Butt Butt tribe. Not only is she the last of her kind, she's also 101 years old. Although you wouldn't think it for her youthfulness and spark. Her name is Wang Ad, and she is a master of the 1,000-year-old art that is inserting black ink into the skin in beautiful patterns. She explains that during the old days, the men of the tribe could only have a tattoo if they killed someone, supposedly an enemy. But today, thousands of tourists visit her humble home yearly to get a tattoo from the legendary master. Things have short changed. To make her famous tattoos, she only uses coal, thorns from calamansi or pomelo fruit trees, and wipes. And the hammer is made out of a coffee tree. She learned her craft from her father, and she has single-handedly opened the tradition to everybody because she doesn't want it to go away. If you wish to get one of her amazing tattoos, don't you worry. Wang Ad might be the last Mamba Batak, but she's already teaching her grandniece the ropes of the practice. Number 10. Blackheads Vacuum We've all been guilty of watching one of those videos where they pop blackheads. They can be gross, true, but also inexplicably satisfying. 
Well, guess what? They've invented a blackhead vacuum now. And it is exactly how it sounds. It's a small device that you position over a blackhead and it produces a mild suction that extracts the oil and dead skin from the pores. Blackheads are basically pores that have been clogged with dead skin cells and oil. Over time, the clog gets oxidized by the air, turning it black or dark gray, hence the name blackhead. And these blackhead vacuums appear to be extremely effective. Once you've used the vacuum, you can see all the nasty stuff that's built up in there. It's horrible to think that all that was once in somebody's skin. But careful, some of these devices are FDA approved, which is the Food and Drug Administration, and therefore they're safe. But some others haven't been tested whatsoever and could maybe scar your skin if not used correctly. It's also important to note that this kind of skincare gadget only works when the blackhead has already been loosened. In order to loosen your pores, you can use glycolic acid, steam from your shower, or salicylic acid. Number 9. Satisfying Silicone Mixing some people are very lucky in their jobs, and the good employees at Buster Rubber Limited of Petersfield in Hampshire, England are certainly no exception. They spend their days mixing silicone with the client's desired dye by sending it through gigantic mechanical rollers over and over again until the color reaches a uniform distribution. It sounds dull, but it's so satisfying to look at. It's somewhat mesmerizing and peaceful. These workers must be the most relaxed and calm ones in the whole wide world. First, they fetch a light batch of silicone and they add a little chunk of condensed pigment. Then, through the roller it goes. It also makes a very peculiar and satisfying sound, too. It's hard to describe it, though. At first, you can see that only a small portion of the silicone changes color, but the more times it goes through the rollers, the more the color gets spread throughout the whole batch. The result is a perfectly uniform silicone ready to be used in the compression molding process. The reason why this entire operation is so relaxing also has to do with ASMR. The color, the sound, and the texture of the silicone just triggers the brain in all the right ways to induce a state of pleasure. That factory must have a waiting list of people wanting to work there. Number 8. The Nanana Ice Classic this is one of the oldest continuously running betting events in the entirety of the United States. It all began in 1917 when a group of railroad engineers made a bet about exactly when the ice on the Nanana River, Alaska would break up. And by exactly, I mean the month, the day, the hour, even the minute. The first handful of engineers bet a total of $800, winner takes all. At the time, that was a small fortune, to say the least. Each October or November, when the water freezes up, the residents put a tripod planted in two feet of river ice, which is connected to an onshore clock that automatically stops when the tripod moves because of ice break. But this betting event's not only meant as a source of entertainment, no, come on now. Think of the children, it was an educational event meant to teach people to stay vigilant around the time that springs around the corner. Because ice breaking up means gigantic chunks of ice crashing downriver, sometimes causing flooding and taking out bridges. Today, the Nanana Classics winner does not take all. Instead, all the collected funds go to scholarships, kids' sports teams, medical charities, and many other local causes. Just about to look how to make a bet. Yeah. Making it a non-profit charitable gaming organization meant to help the local community and to teach to respect the ice. Number 7. Pressure Washing the Driveway there's nothing more satisfying than pressure washing a nasty and dirty driveway. There's something extremely soothing about seeing something culminate in a perfectly squeaky clean result at the end. And to do it all with only the power of water. You can make your driveway look brand new, armed with little more than some water, a hose, and a way to move that water through that hose with great power. And that's it. You'll manage to instantly make all kinds of grime, gunk, and garbage disappear from all sorts of different surfaces.
It's a dream come true for anyone that doesn't want to spend an entire weekend on their knees cleaning, which is pretty much everybody in the world. The only important thing to remember is to always wear shoes, because otherwise you can harm yourself. Just put on your old pair of sneakers or boots and you're good to go. Even if you don't own a driveway, it's just such a joy to watch it on video. One second the surface is black, the next it's perfectly clean, just like that. There's just a sense of accomplishment that goes into pressure washing. Even if it only takes a few minutes, it feels like a day well spent. Like you spent all afternoon working hard. You know, I was just looking for somebody to power wash my house. It's starting to look grimy, but maybe I'll just rent a power washer. I forgot how satisfying it is. Number six, mirror glaze cakes. Even for those who don't particularly have a sweet tooth, watching videos of shiny mirror cakes being made is just too satisfying to miss. And let's be honest, cakes are much more than just a simple dessert, they are a form of expression. You can make them look just like your favorite movie star, or they can pass along an important message such as happy birthday or you're gonna be a dad. Personally, I'd prefer to find out over text. The latest cake baker superstar is Olga Neskova from Russia, and she's taking the internet by storm with her incredible creations. Her cakes almost look like they're made out of plastic or even glass. They look too perfect to eat. The technique she uses is called mirror glaze, and indeed, you can literally see your own reflection on the cakes. Olga has told interviewers that it all started with her love for macarons, which are a French delicate meringue. After that, she started devoting lots of time to the study of confectionery arts. At the beginning, she was obsessed with learning how to make European mousse cakes, and eventually she upgraded to her worldly famous mirror cakes. She went from having 15,000 followers on her Instagram account like some nobody to over 350,000 in a matter of days. She even said that her phone can't deal with the hundreds of messages she's receiving daily. Number 5. Making Giant Slime Bubbles there are a few things that are more fun than slime, and it's so easy to do. What's not so easy is to manage to make a giant slime bubble without it breaking. And by big, I mean large enough to have a person inside of it. Look at these families all having fun making giant slime bubbles. If you want to do the same, all you really need are three key ingredients. You start off by mixing eight ounces of school glue together. Usually they come in four ounce bottles, so by that logic, you'll need two bottles of glue. If you want to make your slime a little bit more fun, you can add two drops of the food coloring of your choosing. Then, with a spatula, mix it all together until the colors spread throughout. If you're feeling a little funky, you can always add some glitter, but this step is optional. I'd recommend against it. But if you do want to add some glitter, a quarter cup is more than enough. Give it all a good mix again. Then, add one tablespoon of baking soda and stir. The final touch is adding two tablespoons of saline solution. All you have to do now is mix it until a nice ball forms. And there you go. You made your own DIY slime. Now stretch it out and wave it through the air to try and make a giant bubble. Number 4. Walking the Tweed Walking songs are Scottish folk songs traditionally sung in the Gaelic language by women while fulling, tucking, or walking cloth. This is a very old practice, and it involves a group of women rhythmically beating newly woven tweed or tartan cloth against a table or similar surface to lightly felt it and shrink it to better repel water. Walking has a very rich history. Originally, a group of women would pound the woolen cloth with the fuller's feet or hands or a club. and they sang traditional Scottish folk songs to set the pace. At first, the leader would start by singing well-known verses or making up her own, and the rest of the group would come in while the leader took a breath. These sessions usually began with slow-paced songs, and the tempo increased as the cloth would soften. And as they sang, they would gradually shift the cloth to the left so the woolen cloth would get thoroughly worked. They always moved the cloth clockwise, otherwise it was considered to be very unlucky. It was also bad luck to repeat the same song twice during a fulling session, and that's why there are so many songs and verses. Number 3. Satisfying Hot Knife Who doesn't like melting stuff? It's so satisfying and calming. Well, a guy has taken the joy of melting stuff 
to another level entirely. He has created an Instagram account where he heats up his knives to 1000 degrees and proceeds to slice up inanimate objects of all kinds. There's just something about seeing that knife blade burn in fiery orange while it effortlessly severs in half everything it touches. But the most satisfying part of all this isn't just watching the knife cut through several different objects, but actually the sound it makes. This is ASMR in all its glory. Uh, do you feel that tingling sensation on the back and sides of your skull? If yes, you're having your autonomous sensory meridian response triggered. If you enjoy videos like these, you might want to check out his Instagram account called Watch It Melt. And if you really like his stuff, he also has a YouTube channel by the same name with longer videos and even some videos in reverse. There, you'll see a hot knife cutting through petroleum jelly, a bunch of erasers stacked in a tower, cheese, fruit, even cotton candy, and much more. But even if this looks like a lot of fun, do not try this at home. You'll probably burn yourself silly, and the fumes excreted from some of these objects are most likely hazardous and very bad for your health. Number 2. Incredible Wo Long Dance the Dragon Dance is a breathtakingly beautiful event that takes place on every Chinese festive day. It's a tradition of Chinese folk culture, and it consists of the swinging and swaying, twirling and twisting, jumping and shaking of the dragon's body and head. In Chinese culture, the figure of the dragon is the one that brings peace and good harvest, both of which are incredibly important for happiness amongst people. When the great dragon dances, it's believed to elevate the prayers of the people, therefore making them more effective. The great green dragon is also the first of the four spirits of China, which are the dragon, the phoenix, the unicorn, and the tortoise. The dragon is the one who brings success, the auspicious one, and the master of wind and rain. But beware, he's also the devil of the waves. No terrestrial or celestial beast can match the dragon's strength. He is the most powerful creature in Chinese folklore. Nowadays, you can see the dragons dance everywhere in the world where there are Chinese immigrants. They always bring the dance with them wherever they go as a good luck charm and to find success in their new home. So if you're lucky enough to live close to a Chinese community, you get to see the mesmerizing dragon dance. Number 1. Satisfying Frozen Honey there's a new culinary trend on TikTok that's taking the internet by storm. But don't worry, this one's not labor intensive. All you're gonna need is a jar of honey and, well, a freezer. The frozen honey trend consists of simply freezing honey and eating it. The thing to know about honey is that it doesn't actually freeze in low temperatures. Instead, it acquires this viscous, jelly-like texture that seems incredibly fun to eat. Some people add a little bit of fun to the trend by freezing several different containers with different food colorings, making it a rainbow honey. Here's how you do it. You have to fill an empty bottle with honey, and then you pop it in your freezer and simply wait for a few hours. If you want the result to have some color, you should probably mix the food coloring in beforehand because otherwise you won't be able to stir it properly. Once the honey gets that jelly texture, all you need to do is squeeze the bottle and enjoy your homemade treat. If you happen to not like honey, you can also do it with corn syrup. The result is the same. Some influencers are even experimenting with silicone molds, and honestly, it seems way easier to eat the honey this way. You can also choose any shape you want. As you can see, many different things can trigger your ASMR. It's different for everybody, but when that tingling hits, you forget all about your troubles for a few minutes. What about you? Which video is the one that you find the most satisfying? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!